she had us, both of us, absolutely round her finger. Fundamentally, she achieved this through the way she looked at us. It shouldn't have been a surprise that the way she moved her head to one side should leave me basically on my knees. Or more akin, I should say, to a slightly tepid pool of just water. But what was more surprising was the effect it had on him. Anything she wanted, he gave to her. Anything she demanded, he agreed to. And he agreed to everything with the same little smile on his face. The smile of a man who, in actual fact, was a little more than four years old. I'm not saying I wouldn't have agreed to the same and more in his position, but it just seemed in some way... What? Downright surprising? Coming from him, he wasn't that kind of a man. He was a soldier, and when I say was, I mean was. I mean, he used to be between 1968 and 1984. He was a soldier in the British Infantry and reached the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He did five tours of Northern Ireland and this is when, you know, doing a tour of Northern Ireland was more than a few games of pool and a, a chat with some kids outside a fish and chip shop. But some of the photographs he took. He used to have a Polaroid camera and some of the things that after he'd had a few drinks, he'd get out of his box to show me him. You wouldn't have thought they're of Northern Ireland. There was something about them which I found in some way. You know, surprising. Always refused to talk about South Georgia. I remember asking about it one time and his face turned within a matter of a few seconds, literally grey. Slate grey. <laughs> and even when he eventually retired from the army, he would train as a maths teacher for Christ's sake. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen him teach. I can imagine the kind of teacher he was. I don't think he would have worn many cords. I don't think he would have shared too many coffees with the sick formers. 